to start over. You're not even in the. Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is Wyatt Younger, and this is my important speech on how to change a tire. But first, a little history lesson. The first tires used for transportation were made out of wood with a metal band. But in 1888, the first rubber tire, uh, rubberized tire was patented by John, D John Dunlop. The patent was for a bicycle, but it didn't take long for the idea to move to vehicles. In 1903, the first inflatable tire was used and was invented by George Goodyear. And in, finally, in 1904, the mountain bull tire was introduced so that drivers can change their own flats without going to the dealership. So, how do you change a tire? Well, if you follow these simple steps, you will have the knowledge to help yourself if you ever get a flat. Next slide. Step one. Once you realize that your tire is flat or you feel something funny in the car on how it tracks, pull over in the safest location as possible. This will reduce the risks of potential energy injuries that might occur dur dur like during changing to tire. This step is most important. Step two, inspect the tire. If it's well damaged, well, you can't go anywhere and you have to work with, with, what, with what you got. But if it's low and you know there's a tire, tire shop nearby, try to make it to the tire shop or find a safer location. Step three. Uh, if you can't make it to the tire shop, it's time to do it yourself. So you can start by locating the tools needed, the jack, the tire iron, and the actual spare. If you don't know where these items are, you can look in your owner's manual and they should show you where they are. Step four. Loosen lug nuts while the car is still on the ground. Doing this will make it easier for you to apply the necessary torque to break the seal on those lug nuts. Next slide. Step six. Once the tire is completely off the ground, buy the jack. Wait, I missed. Oh, step five. Jack the car up. When you're when doing this, make sure the jack is planted on solid, firm ground, preferably level. If you, you do not want the jack to be wobbly, also be sure that the, the jack is jacking up the car in a solid surface, uh, like the axle or the frame. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Step six. Once the tire is completely off the ground, finish taking off the tire and move it out of the way. Step seven. Put on the spare tire and screw on the lug nuts. Step eight. Lower the car and tighten the lug nuts in a star pattern or a cross pattern represented in this picture. This will probably prof, properly secure your tire to your car. Step, next slide. Step six, nine, pick up, <laughs> pick up your mess. You don't want to leave any tools behind because it might be hazardous to other drivers and you might need your tools later. And finally, step 10. This step is for you to drive to the nearest tire shop when convenient so that they can fix your flat tire and so that your spare can continue to be your spare. Next slide. In conclusion, um, if you get a flat tire, follow these steps and you will be back on the road in no time. And remember, safety is most important. Next slide. This concludes my informative speech on how to change a tire. Is there any questions?